Good morning. Thanks for joining me on my walk this morning. It's getting nippy, but um, we know spring is coming because those leaves are really uh, coming out really, really strongly in this last uh, this last few days. I mean, here's here's some of them around me right here. Wow, it's pretty good, huh? So. Today I was thinking about what I heard last Sunday, and it's unusual that you remember what you heard from a sermon, but this came from the sermon of the uh, Bishop of Washington, Mary Ann Buddy, last Sunday in the Internet uh, Worship at the Washington National Cathedral. And Bishop Buddy had a last, sort of a last departing comment that, that she would pray that we would be able to practice fierce kindness. Fierce kindness. Wow. I like that. Very similar to Buddhist tradition, I think I've heard Thich Nhat Hanh talk about fierce compassion. So how do we take our, our most hallowed values of our existence and practice them fiercely? Fiercely. I love it. <laughs> well, one thing I think, one part of fierce kindness would be not to practice gossip. And uh, Paul in his letters to the new churches talks a lot about idle tongues and gossip as really tearing apart a uh, community. And I can attest to that as being a parish priest for 25 years that many times it was the gossip that causes the great dissension and problems within, within a community of people who say that they are beloved and they are beloved of one another. So we hear that uh, a, a lot today in, in social media, that people are not practicing fierce kindness, they are practicing fierce nastiness. <laughs> and, you know, putting up things that we know, probably if we checked on, are not exactly true and uplifting. And consequently, can rip our social fabric. So these are times of this pandemic, more than ever, that we have to really be a beloved community. We have to care for one another, and the things that we do are not necessarily things that are going to benefit us directly, like the wearing of a mask, but it's for other people. It's for other people. We do this for, for others. And why are we uplifting our, our, our health providers, you know, the entire system, from those who are stocking the, the supply closets of the hospitals, preparing the meals, cleaning the rooms, to doing the surgeries, to making the big decisions, the care, the loving care that goes on there, because they are exhibiting, as you said it time and time again, of service above self. You know, and that's really, really it. Uh, I think we really hold that important. And that is a fierce, fierce kind of kindness to put others above yourself. And it goes against a lot of our independent traditions and uh, our, you know, that song we love to sing. Oh, you know what it is. Me, 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 me. And, you know, I suffer from that too. All right, whoa, 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 isn't this all about me? No, it really isn't, David. It's not about you. It's about others. That's a tough, a tough road to walk. But it's not a road that is impossible to walk. It's just that it's tough if we're going to be faint-hearted about it and we're not going to be fierce, fierce. So as we go forth this week, Let's start today to think about the things that we say, the stories we tell, the gossip, and you know it's gossip, you know what gossip is. When we refrain from doing that, you know, we help to hold the social fabric. And we ourselves are practicing a fierce amount of kindness. And it's as much a challenge for me as I'm sure it is for you, but but let's try it. A beloved community, 
That's what America is. With all its diversity and all its differences, we are a beloved community and we stay together and we love one another when we can practice fierce, fierce kindness. Have a great day.